guys, my name is Carson Berto. Thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel today. I'm doing something differently. A video that I was tagged to do by Rye, and it was a challenge to do the hair history video. So, I figured, why not have a seat while I do this? And I got tagged by Ray Kalok to do a hair history challenge video. So today, that's what I'm going to be doing, a hair history challenge video. Let's go ahead and get started right now. Woo! So first things first, the first photo I want to share with you guys is this amazing photo right here. Bing! As you guys can see, I have a fresh lineup. I look like a teddy bear. I remember this photo vividly because it's so good that I had to cut two photos and make them into one because I just, you just had to double up on it, you know? I remember this photo very clearly because I had got suspended the week before for doing something stupid. And I asked my mom, yo, next week is picture day. Can I please have somebody to cut my hair? She's like, no, 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 Carlito. No no haircut for you for picture day. So then I talked to my brother and I was like, yo, dude, I need a haircut because it's picture day. He's like, he was like, all right, you know what? I got you, but I'm not going to give you money. I'm going to cut it. And I was like, whatever you, whatever you could do. He did what he could and we came out with this beautiful man child. <laughs> so now let's take a big leap forward so let's go straight to 2007 what is this a linen top and bottom and some cream sperries on and i mean damn your boy's looking fresh this is me at the beach looking like a beast with a cristiano ronaldo haircut and i was in 2007 i thought it looked super sick i was a little big dude damn this picture was for sure in 2007 i'm with my boy or his -o. This is my first year of college. I used to cut my own hair and I was trying to do the same haircut that I did in like 2007 but on my own. So I was really trying to figure out how to get that style and cut it myself which obviously isn't that great. And you know it was always like uh, here's another photo. Oh okay. Yeah that's, let's move on. So now here's 2009. I was like all right I gotta kind of like do something with my hair. I don't know what that haircut is. It's just so messed up. I don't know what. 2009 did to me that I did that haircut. I think I was still cutting my hair for sure in this photo and I was just trying to be like you know what I want to make it look just like natural. 2010 boom I just cut the fringe off. I remember just kind of like texturing it. I remember I used to watch that was a time when I met like Daniel Alfonso uh, Fox from the, the, uh, Daniel Alfonso TV and I really wanted to get a haircut from him so I was like trying to let this hair grow out trying to let my hair grow out so shout out to Daniel because I remember I, I met him when he first launched Hans de Fuco in San Francisco it was a 2012 photo I had the two lines on the back of my head which is pretty sick this is when Nando was really getting into cutting my hair and he was just like he changed my entire life this is still 2012 I was trying to really find a way to work with the way my hair grew out so I had like a little side part and I took a epic selfie with my iPhone <laughs> and I remember this was my profile picture for so long because I was so proud of it. And so here we're moving forward to 2013 as you guys could see my hair is pretty long it's something completely different from what I have ever done and I was like you know what I'm gonna let it grow out so then six months and eight months later boom my hair grown out completely I've really got inspired by like the Johnny Depp long look and I'm always gonna regret not doing enough with the hairstyle because I kinda was like all right, I'm gonna let it grow out. And then once it was fully grown out, I was like, is this is what it was supposed to be? Is this how it's supposed to be? Like long hair, like just not do anything. And I couldn't go to Nando because I moved to LA. So I was living in Los Angeles actually during that time. So my hair was super long. I didn't trust anyone to cut my hair. I think Daniel actually trimmed it once while I was out there, but I didn't really trust anyone. I didn't know if like the long hair was supposed to be like untouchable. I had no idea, but now I know that all I needed to do was take some weight off the sides and it would have looked super sick and just textured it. So now 2000 and I remember Nando literally was like, so you want to do this? And I was like, and he was like, all right, Whoosh, straight cut my hair. And I was like, all right. Now 2015, I let my hair go back out a little bit. Here's a photo of my very long hair. It was like, I think seven, seven to eight inches on top and the sides were just super clean. Nando hooked that up. Now, 2016, here's my latest photo. I was looking at like the James Dean photo for inspiration, so that was kind of like the motivation behind this latest haircut that I actually have now. Well, there you guys have it. That is my hair history. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm not gonna ask you which one is your favorite hairstyle, or actually maybe let's do this. Which haircut can you mostly relate to when you guys were young? Let me know down below, and I'm just glad that those years are kind of over. 
and I'm just glad that I could see the progression of handsomeness and increasing and increasing and increasing and increasing and increasing and increasing as I get older, which should be the same thing for you guys. Don't be scared of age. I think that's probably the best advice I could give you guys. Don't be scared of age. I mean, that's a fact. But yeah, here we go. There you guys have it. That is my hair history challenge video. Thank you guys so much for stopping my YouTube channel this week. I hope you guys enjoy this hair history challenge. I'm going to be tagging a person by the name of Hair Jesus. Also, I will put down below Ray's uh, description who actually tagged me. So you guys go check out his hair history challenge video. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel this week. And I appreciate it. And I'll be seeing you guys very soon. Bye-bye. And increasing and increasing and increasing and increasing and increasing and increasing. <laughs>